For the given angles and equalities, we have to prove that the length of the line segment AB is equal to BC plus CD. We will have four different solution methods for this problem, and let's start with the first one. First, we can see that base angles of the isosceles triangle DAC are 40 degrees. Similarly, base angles of the isosceles triangle ABC can be calculated as 80 degrees. Now let's create a point E and connect it to point D such that angle ADE is 60 degrees. From here it can be seen that angle AED will also be 60 degrees and triangle AED will be an equilateral triangle. Now let's connect points E and C. From here base angles of the isosceles triangle EDC can be calculated as 70 degrees. From triangle EBC we can calculate missing angle as 50 degrees and see that this triangle is also an isosceles triangle. Now let's name all the equal line segments as X and Y. From here we can see that line segment AB is equal to X plus Y units. And since line segments BC and CD are equal to X and Y, that will prove AB equals BC plus CD. Now let's start our second solution method. First let's write down the angles we know. Now let's extend the line segment BC to a point E such that angle CDE is 60 degrees. From here we can see that the triangle DEC is an equilateral triangle. Now if we connect point E and A, we will have an isosceles triangle ADE. And from here its base angles will be 10 degrees each. Now let's call the length of the line segment BC as X and CE as Y. If you notice triangle ABE has 50 degree equal base angles, so its corresponding sides must be equal. From here we can see that AB is equal to BC plus CD. Now let's continue with our third solution method. First let's draw the equilateral triangle ACE. Since triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle, its base angles will be 80 degrees. From here, angle CFB will be 80 degrees. Now let's call the equal sides of this triangle as X and line segment FE as Y. Then other sides of the equilateral triangle will be X plus Y units. Now let's extend line segments BC and AD so that they intersect at point G. From triangle DAC, we know that the base angles are 40 degrees. And from here, focusing on triangle AGB, we can see that angle AGB is 40 degrees. Now focusing on triangle ACG, we can see that its base angles are equal and it's an isosceles triangle. So its corresponding sides must be equal. And from here, line segment CG will be X plus Y units. Now focusing on these two shaded triangles, we can see that they are congruent. And from here, line segment DC will be Y units. And that will prove that AB is equal to BC plus CD. Now let's continue with our last method, which will be a trigonometric solution. First, let's write down the angles we can calculate using the isosceles triangles. And then let's call the lengths of the line segments as X, Y and Z as shown on the figure. Now let's apply sine theorem on triangle ADC. From here, X will be equal to Y times sine 40 over sine 100. This time, apply sine theorem on triangle ABC. From here, Z will be equal to Y times sine 20 over sine 80. Now let's see what we are trying to prove in terms of X, Y and Z. Inserting 1 and 2, our equation will be something like this. And also we can divide both sides of the equation with Y and have the following equation. Making the denominator same, we will have this equality. Now remember the trigonometric identity for sine alpha times sine beta. If we apply this identity to our equation, we will have this equality. If we multiply numerator and denominator by 2 and add up cosine 120 terms, we will end up with this equation. Remember that cosine 120 is minus 1 over 2 and cosine 180 is minus 1. If we put these values in, we will have this equation. Here remember that the trigonometric identity for cosine alpha plus cosine beta. If we apply this in our equation, we will have this equality. And that will simplify as follows. And we know that cosine 60 is 1 over 2. When we put the value of cosine 60, our equation will become like this. So right side of the equation will also become 1. And that will prove that our starting equation is true. And this will conclude our solution for this problem. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumb up and subscribe to the channel for future contents. I'll see you next time.